Five minutes. No one can pull me out I force them to run from the others I'm running away now Hello everybody and welcome to a very special edition of Major Love Wrestling right here on Love Wrestling's Twitch channel. I am Bobby Munson and joined by my video bro right beside me, the man with the angelic voice. He is Papa Smokes. And why is this a special episode? Because we're joined by a very special guest today. He is Dr. Julius Smokes. Thank you for joining us tonight, sir. <laughs> Glad to have you out. Uh, before we get started, though, I just have a couple of housekeeping things here. We got to say thank you to the sponsors, make the show very possible. Rich King over at RK Athletics One, personal trainer in the Edmonton, Alberta area. Also, you can check him out online for dietary plans and fitness tips for things you can do at home to be your best self. Also, thinking about being your best self, go and check out our good friends at manscaped.com. Use that promo code Love Wrestling. Make sure to take care of the boys this the summer season. When it's hot outside, you want them feeling good, feeling nice, and smelling good too. So check out manscaped.com. Promo code Love Wrestling, 20% off your order and free worldwide shipping. So, Dr. Smokes, it is finally good to have you on the show. We've been singing your praises, watching you on MLW, manager of 5150, and we are so honored. That you've decided to join us here. Bless up, Conan, yo. I'm grateful, you know what I mean? Bless up, uh, Core Bauer and everybody giving me the opportunity to be Dr. Smokes, to be myself out there, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah it, it has been fantastic. Uh, 5150, a great faction, doing great job. We even saw it tonight at on the MLW show. You were out there at ringside with Danny Limelight R Rivera as he was Put taking on Davey baby. Richards. And what a talent. Like, this guy's a star in the making. I, I think you are in the corner of one of the future stars of professional wrestling. What's, what's your opinion on that? Yeah, uh, he's a Michael Ford killer. You know what I'm saying? Like Michael, like a Betty Gordy told Michael Jackson, they let that microphone go. You know what I mean? Let it flow. And basically, we both got that talent, but basically, you know, when he's in the ring, I just let him flow to do his thing, and I emphasize off of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, great sure. combination. Definitely, definitely. Bob Spokes, I'm going to put the floor over to you to take the next question here. Yeah, well, we were just talking about Danny Limelight, and uh, I wondered if you could uh, take, fill us in a little bit about Slice Boogie, and, and then now that he's got a, at least a temporary re replacement in Hernandez, that's about the best replacement you could get temporarily or not. That's not familiar right there, man. You can't even say temporary. That's family, you know what I'm saying? If we call him our big brother, he's going to come coming through. If he's in Charlotte, North Carolina, he's going to hit that hot 95, 120 miles per hour to get here, you know what I mean? So that, that's the way that goes, through the, great, through the gates of hell of Mexico. Uh, Hernandez is a, um, a, a lifetime member, LAX, the original member. So great look. And I think it was announced uh, recently on MLW, the 5150 back in the tag team title picture, going to be going up against Hustle of Power yeah. uh, coming up. Tell us, what's the game plan? What does 5150 have in store to get those championships back where they belong? Well, if you have Bill Belichick, you know what I'm saying, and his offensive coordinator in the, in the corner, well, you know, they traded him off right now, but if you have the full unit there, yeah. If we have full throttle and we transform on them, we will become two-time MLW Tag Team Champions. Um, we're going to spit in the wind and see what happens with that situation right there. You know what I mean? Seriously. Hey, correct me if I'm wrong. That would make 5150 the first ever two-time Tag Team Champions in MLW history. See, that's what I'm talking about. We came to MLW to make memories. I mean, some people just want to come there. Um, they use it as a highlight reel to try to go to AEW or uh, WWE. Nah, that's a lot familiar. That's my home. I, I was there back in 2004 when it originally started. So I came in to make memories to win championships. 
you know, that'll be a short passing through the night. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Conan and Doctor and uh, Corbal will be the opportunity. And you see what I'm doing out here? I'm going to hunt, yo, as I'm about to die tomorrow. Seriously. Every time yeah. I go out there, it, it could be my last match. That's, where I, that's how I feel. So I give it a thousand percent to the fans out here, bro. Loving Seriously. it, loving it. Doing excellent work. Uh, Papa Smoke's back over to you, sir. Yeah, I was going to say one of the one of my favorite parts about 5150. I consider them one of the top tag teams in all pro, pro wrestling right now. But one of the one of your bread and butter things is is your promos. You guys are always hitting it live in the in the parking garage. You know, you're waving around a couple of nugs. You guys are talking tough in there. Your guys' promos have a realness to them that come through to the listener. Where where does that come from? Where do you get your inspiration for those awesome promos? Um, watching me wrestling when I was younger, Dusty Rhodes, um, Magnet TA, Rick Flair, um, you can saw Fred Train Jones, Iceman Two Parsons. I got it from the old school dudes, you know what I'm saying? Just watching that when I was young. And um I live vicariously through them when I'm out there, you know what I'm saying? And I just give them that energy. I live in Spanish Harlem. You know, I live on 115th Street. I'm right here, 116th. Uh, a barrio. Um, home of Hector Camacho. You know what I mean? Cecilia Cruz. So I got to go out there and represent for the Afro-Latinos and the uh, African-Americans and the Barbados, Barbados Kings. You know what I mean? So you grew up a massive fan of professional wrestling back in the territory yeah. days, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, who were some of the greats that you grew up on? Who influenced Dr. Julius Smokes to get to where he is? Wow. Um, JCP and WCCW, um, World Class Championship Wrestling, um, Devon Eriks. <laughs> Watch it out. I mean, it's kind of ironic be going against it right now, but yeah, I was big time watching the Freebirds go after them back in the days, territory days in uh, Dallas, Texas, and also um, you know, just watching Rick Flair and Ronnie Garvin, that, 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 that title run right there, the, the, on the promos was just ah, electrifying, and Bash 86, um, Dusty Rhodes, that era, you know, living in North Carolina, Virginia, we said, fuck New York. Fuck MSG. Greensboro, North Carolina. The Army. That's all we needed. I don't know why the fuck they were trying to go to New York for. That was some other shit. Oh, that's that what was I was some gonna, other shit. That's what I was going to say. You're a New Yorker watching Southern Wrestling and not WWF. That, that means you're a real wrestling fan. <laughs> well, yeah, because I came up here. I was crying because, you know, in New York, it was kind of territorial with the cable in the uh, in the late eighties. You know what I'm saying? The Bronx didn't have no, they didn't have TBS, they didn't have cable, unless you lived in Co-op City. You know, I I had a big girl in Manhattan. We we yeah, now y'all know just to watch TBS or to go to my aunt's house. You know what I'm saying? Down in Virginia, I mean down in uh, 28th Street, something like that, just to watch it. So yeah. So you have a uh, career uh, involved with uh, music outside of uh, professional wrestling as well, too. I believe you have your own record company, if I'm not mistaken, Buddha Head Records. Tell us a little bit about Ooh. your music stuff, what uh, what you put out, and uh, what uh, where people can even find some of your work. Yeah, um, Apple Music, Undo Cardi is one of my artists. Um, I Heart Radio, um. All musical platforms I'm on, you know what I'm saying? I signed a musical distribution deal with Sophonic Distribution, you know what I'm saying? And um, it's a phenomenal look right now, y'all. I'm, I'm streaming and downloading, and I'm, and I'm a monetized artist. Also being a private contractor is a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know well, what I mean? mean. <laughs> yeah, and it's, you're 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 an excellent. But yeah, is right. Uh, you are a smart businessman. I know this. Uh, doing your own record label to be able to take control of your own work is just genius in its own right, man. And nothing but mad respect for that. I absolutely loved hearing that about you. And I watched uh, the documentary that's been put out on YouTube about you. And I've gotta say, I was a fan before. I'm a bigger fan now. That was a 
genius documentary. Loved every minute of it. So wow, that's what's up, man. I'm glad you was able to check that out, bro. Yeah, real yeah. talk. Um, that was a blessing in disguise, right there. Um, Bobby did a great job. Um, talentless wrestling. They they, they, they kind of caught that the happening, and um, I appreciate the opportunity. It's a do that raw dog, like Big Daddy Kane, do that raw dog, you know what I mean? Yeah, you bet. <laughs> uh, Pops, folks, uh, some more questions. Well, speaking Let of me Big Daddy Kane. Let me be your doctor. Let me be your doctor. Come, come. Hell yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. You've been marked now, Papa Smokes. I think so. <laughs> hey, you just brought up Big Daddy Kane. I was wondering what you, uh, artists, uh, both in the world of rap and hip hop and other kinds of music, were you listening to when you came up when you were a teenager and a big fan? Oh, you know that. Um, Biggie Smalls, Tupac, um, Brand Nubian, um, Eric Sheridan, EPMD, MOP. Um, Routine, um, Nice and Smooth, um, Boogie Down Productions, baby, KS1. Yeah. Stop playing, man. <laughs> yeah, boy. Let's stop beating around the bush, man. I used to live in a home in hip hop, baby. My sister was a Zulu queen, Melissa Smokes, baby. I love you. Hell yeah. So, Pop Smokes, take the floor again if you got one. Well, we were just talking about, about, about rap artists and stuff. Uh, what else do we want to talk about? Uh, how much t uh, spare time do you have outside of wrestling? Uh, you have, must have to do a lot of traveling and a lot of rehearsing and stuff. Yeah, uh, well, I'm like Prince. I'm like Prince's father in the movie. Most of my materials in my head already. You know, I just work out here and there, but um, I, I love wrestling so much. It's like I've been auditioning this through this, through this opportunity ever since I was a little kid. Ever since I was eight years old watching... Um, Rick Flair going his Black Jack Mulligan inside a steel cage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're hypnotized just by looking at it and saying, oh my God, these guys are killing each other in there. And then learning that it was a, it's an art form, it's a sport. It was amazing just to be behind the scenes right now just to see the magic that was behind that, you know what I mean? Magic, bro. Magic. You like to do it like those guys did, bro. I agree completely. How do you feel about the way that the business in general has Eddie Guerrero, too, people? baby. Eddie Guerrero, he set the trend, baby. Yeah, yeah. They were the of these guys, man. They said, he's allowed to five for eight guys are eating right now. So Let's stop playing. It, so for and maybe people who might be tuning in for the first time, not too familiar, what makes MLW the standout brand over all others week by week? Um... Just the uncut grassroots of wrestling is there. Lucha, strong style. You see the uncut raw videos that they do. I mean, of course, they're adding out the cursing here and there. You know what I'm saying? But that's what athletes do. You know, they really give you the behind the scenes of what this thing is really about. And everybody, and it's like a short tank. Everybody's hungry. I'm not going to say proud to the barrel because everybody's blessed to be there. You know what I'm saying? We out that barrel already. It's all about being professionals and take, and take care of one another and um, going through the wall for court barrel for court every time you're out there. You willing to die for that product. You see how I go out there, man. I'm ready to catch a heart attack for them, bro. I'm ready to die in the ring, man. I'm ready to die out there, bro. I'm, I'm being serious. I love wrestling. Let's go. I love it. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Papa Smokes, I, I've got no more questions personally. Papa Smokes, anything else before we uh, wrap things up here today? No, I'm enjoying this a lot, though, and I'm so happy that you decided to do this show finally. Uh, Bobby Munson's been ribbing me about my name, uh, saying that uh, Dr. Julius is going to come after me and take his <laughs> name back, so I'm just kind of living in fear here. Is that the government name, your last name, or what's your sister name? That's a new name. Yeah, yeah, that's my name. We got to be related somehow, man. <laughs> that's the government name? Yeah. No? Is that, uh, is your uh, aunt and uncle Fred and Dorothy? I'm pretty sure that's them, hey? Um, I don't know. We got to do some ancestry work, baby. 
That's what I'm saying. It's kind of crazy right now. I don't see anybody name my last name like this, bro. This is this is something different. This is my government name. I got teen school when I was younger. Let everybody want to be a smoke. Okay. okay. It's like that smoke. That's copyright infringement. Every time they say that, you should get paid, man. What we're, right do, what we're gonna have to do is do what we really want to do is one of these days like this show we can't quite be as risque but we have another channel and one of these days i think the three of us need to get out oh, together and have a little bit of a smoke off over on our other channel there yeah. just have a good old time smoking yeah. with the boys oh why not y'all <laughs> why not man and you know what i get the camera like my new toys i got the 5150 you know what i mean <laughs> it's kind of crazy here right now, man. It's kind of crazy here right now, man. That's it's a, kind of that's crazy a, here right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's the sweetest assault rifle I've ever seen. Protect yourself a little time. Come, come. <laughs> so no, no, I, no. Put uh, up. God bless. It's 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 just a tribute going on right here. On God bless everybody who lost a family out there in Dallas, Texas. Yeah. Um. I, I played with toys only, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's it. I was raised up in Virginia. That was the way of life. But I played with toys, you know what I'm saying? It's a toy. And uh, that wasn't a toy that took place out here. And uh, my heart bleeds and just condolences out to all the family out there in Dallas, Texas, man. Yeah, for sure. And, and anywhere where these things happen is very tragic times. And just every, all our best to all the families that are touched by this and all the people that are touched you by it as well. Too. You see how it's natural to start of that? Because that's where my heart is at right now. It's, it's crazy. I mean, I, I brought all this before that took place. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. part of my gimmick for the fans, you know, with the brat and all that good stuff that's going on. But I'm not going to be insensitive with the times right now either. Uh, it's a toy and um, God bless everybody out there right now in America, man. Really, man. We gotta pray for everybody right here. Churches, everybody, man. God bless them, y'all. For sure. And uh, for sure. you know, we we really appreciate this time here today. Uh, before yeah, we, baby, uh, let's bring it together, baby. I love it. I love <laughs> before, it. Before we wrap it up, though, uh, why don't you let people know where outside of watching MLW week to week, where the, can they find Doctor Julius Smokes on the social? Nah, you gotta let people know. They want to see him. They want to see Junior, Doctor Junior Smokes, fifty one fifty Junior Smokes in general, in MLW on a constant basis. You know what I'm saying? So that's what the situation is right now. You know, there's a lot of other people, a lot of things going on behind the scenes. We on fire, but at the same time, you have to let them know how much you appreciate and love Doctor Smokes. So that's all I want my fans to do. Let them know how much you love and appreciate Doctor Smokes. It's almost like, uh. It's almost like ESPN not having uh, Stephen A. Smith in the morning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm a I'm a double alumni guy, and I love him, baby. Let's get him. Let's stay hungry, baby. <laughs> love you, Cole. Thank you. Yeah, thank <laughs> you very much, sir. We appreciate you having on the show. Hope to have you again soon, and. Take care, yeah. everybody. We'll see you next Sonny time. Baby, baby. I love you, man. Sonny baby, man. Great agent, man. Thank Sonny you, man. Love you, baby. <laughs> Thank you.